Magandang uh, umaga po sa inyong lahat. Siguro ako ay magpapakilala muna. Uh, ako po ay uh, ang inyong bagong rector, bagong kura paroko, here in the Immaculate Conception Cathedral. And this is my first Mass for Sunday at 11 a.m. So ako po ito, ako ang inyong bagong parish priest sa ayon nyo at sa gusto. <laughs> so ayan. Pero ang, uh, ito pong Cathedral Paris is nothing new to me because in the 80s and the 90s, we used to live here dito sa Maryland Street. So parang ito ay aking uh, pagbabalik bayan sa parokyang aking pinangalingan, Immaculate Conception Paris. And I'm just very, very happy and blessed to be back here in my former community. Now, we go back to the Gospel. In this passage, which is right after the multiplication of the loaves, the miracle of the multiplication, which was our Gospel last Sunday, here in today's passage, the people came looking for Jesus. And Jesus exposed their true motives as He told them, Amen, Amen, I say to you, you are looking for me not because you saw signs, but because you ate the loaves and you were filled. They wanted more bread, more physical satisfaction. As they asked Jesus, show us some signs. Our ancestors ate manna in the desert. They had a steady supply of bread for 40 years so, in Sinai. And Jesus warned them about what should matter more in life. As Jesus told them, do not work for food that cannot last, but work for food that endures to eternal life. He also challenged them, are you just hungry for food that will satisfy the body or for food that will satisfy the soul? Huh? So, inahanap nila si Jesus. Tumawid pa ng Lake Galilee para hanapin si Jesus. Nung matagpuan nila, nila si Jesus, sabi ni Jesus kanila, Ah, hinahanap niyo ako, hindi dahil nakakita kayo ng malaking himala o kababalagan, kundi dahil nabusog kayo sa multiplication of the loaves. Tandaan niyo, huwag niyong hanapin yung pagkaing makakatugon lama sa kagutumang pisikal. Hanapin nyo yung pagkain makakabusog ng pangwalang hanggan sa inyong kaluluwa. And actually, there are two kinds of hunger. And what are those two kinds of hunger? Physical hunger and spiritual hunger. Most of the time, we focus only on physical hunger, which is also the easiest to satisfy. May dalawang uri daw ng kagutuman, kagutuman pisikal at kagutuman espiritual. Madalas, ang tinututukan lamang natin na busugin ay yung kagutuman pisikal. Dahil mas madili, mas madaling tugunan ang kagutuman pisikal. Alam niyo ho, I have an aunt in the US married to an American. They were childless, walang anak. Pero meron silang cute little dogs, dalawa. Ang pangalan ng kanilang aso, Frosty and Fluffy. Makapal ang kanilang balahibo. Ang sarap talagang yakapin at kargahin at laruin, no? Frosty and Fluffy. Ang trato ng tita ko dyan, yan kanyang mga anak. In fact, meron siyang litrato ni Frosty and Fluffy sa kanyang wallet. And everywhere she goes, sa supermarket, sa grocery, sa restaurant, ipapakita niya sa waiter, sa attendant, ang picture ni Frosty and Fluffy. And then she will declare, You want to see my two beautiful children? Huh? Frosty and Fluffy. Nung nagpakasyon ako sa kanilang bahay sa Seattle, ewan ko ba naman, pagdating ko pa lang doon, itong si Frosty and Fluffy, kahol ng kahol sa akin? Ayaw sa akin? Kahol ng kahol? No? Kahol ng kahol si Frosty and Floppy. They bark at me every time they saw me. One morning in their house, I woke up at 6 a.m. Gutom na gutom ako. 
Ang instruction sa akin ng tita ko, uh, Father Stephen, if you are hungry, just go to the kitchen. I have shown you the refrigerator and the pantry. And you can get food, any food you like, para mabusog ka. Ang problema ho, from my bedroom, bago makapunta ng kitchen, dadaan ako sa napakalawak na sala. At dadaan sa dining, bago makada makadating sa kitchen. O ito ho, kukuha na ako ng pagkain. Pagbukas ko pa lamang ng pintuan, nandun sa sala, si Frosty and Fluffy barking at me. So sarak agad ako ng pinto, kakagatin ako nito. No? Pero gutom na gutom na ako. So tingnan ko ulit, gano'ng kalayo. Kung tatakbo ako, papunta ng kitchen, aabutan talaga ako ng dalawang aso na ito. At doon sa kitchen, wala akong pagtataguan. Wala akong choice. Kundi, hintayin ang tita ko na magising para samahan ako sa kitchen at protektahan ako sa kanyang dalawang anak na si Frosty and Fluffy. Ang problema, yung mag-asawa, ang tito at tita ko, late risers. Ang pinakamaaga nalang paggising everyday ay 10 o'clock. Hindi sila nag-aalmusal. Pag gumising sila, ang kain nila brunch na almusal, breakfast at lunch. O ito na, narinig ko yung tita ko, mga bandang 10.15. Bumababa mula sa second floor, papunta ng sala, sabi ko, eto na ang pagkain sagot sa aking kagutuman. At pagsilip ko, nandun, nakita ko ang tita ko. Pero ang una niyang nilapitan, yung kanyang mga aso, sabi, Oh, Frosty and Fluffy, good morning sa inyo. Kumain na ba kayo? Sabi ko sa tita ko, tita, Ako ho, 6 a.m. pang gutom. Di mo ba ako tataningin kung kumain na ako? <laughs> And then, kunento ko kung bakit. And then, my tita told me to feed the dogs. I personally feed the dogs regularly so that they would become friendly to me. Once I fed Frosty and Fluffy from my hen, the dogs became friendly and stopped barking at me. Dogs, when fed, become gentle and content. And people are like dogs in that they are easy to satisfy when you feed their physical hunger. If someone is hungry, just give them food. A hungry child, give an ice cream or a toy, will stop crying. However, Physical satisfaction doesn't last long. You might be physically satisfied now, but soon you will be hungry again. When I was young, I thought I'd be happy to have an apple for Christmas. Pero hindi nagtapos doon. Next year, hindi na lang apple ang gusto ko for Christmas. Gusto ko rin may ice cream. Gusto ko rin may bagong damit. Every year, gusto ko rin may bagong bike. Nung high school ako, gusto ko magkaroon ng sariling gitara, etc., etc. Desires keep escalating, but they never fully satisfy. Tama? Tama ho ba? You can have all the ice cream, the best clothes, all the money, and yet remain unhappy. These things do not provide permanent satisfaction or happiness. Marami example ho yan. Mababalitaan nyo, mga celebrities, popular na popular, ina-adulate, ang dami followers, sikat na sikat, ang daming pera, and yet mababalitaan mo, nag-suicide. Why is that? They have all the money. They have all the fame. They have all the beautiful houses. They have all the beautiful partners in life. And yet, they would suddenly kill themselves. Bakit? Physical satisfaction does not fully satisfy. This passage invites us to discern 
which things perish and which things endure, and to embed ourselves in the things that endure. Only what endures truly satisfies and brings true life. We need to feed our spiritual hunger with spiritual food, faith, prayer, love, forgiveness, friendship, tenderness, wisdom, spirituality, and many more. Money can fill your pocket. Food can fill your stomach. But faith, hope, love, mercy, and God can fill your soul in a long-lasting way. I remember the story of Bishop Papabilio. Tungkol ito sa isang Filipino-Chinese billionaire na ang kanilang pamilya nagmamayari ng malalaking bangko rito sa Pilipinas. Malalaking mall, big properties, high-rise buildings, big industries. And then, that person died. And Bishop Pabilo said, there were many bishops who concelebrated for his funeral mass. And the bishops, one by one, line up huh, to bless the coffin. Sabi ni Bishop Pabilo, there I saw yung billionaire na namatay sa kanyang kabaong. Wala siyang ibang hawak-hawak kundi crucifix at Bible. Consistently, yung billionaire na yon, one of the top 10 richest men in Asia. Pero nung nakaratay na sa kanyang kabaong, walang ibang hawak-hawak kundi crucifix at Biblia. Walang land titles. Walang bank accounts na hawak-hawak kundi Biblia at crucifix. So you see, the only true satisfaction for our soul is God, who is eternal. When you long for God and have Him in your life, you will want for nothing more. As Saint Augustine once said, My heart is restless until it rests in you. Ang buhay ko ay walang katiwasayan hanggat hindi ako manahan sa inyo, Panginoon. While we should not forget to feed the hunger of our bodies, we must always work to satisfy the hunger of our soul, which only God can fill. Amen.